Hey, Zach. Uh, what are you looking at? Oh, just some dudes. All right. Yeah. Uh, you ready to do our top 10 of the year? It's January. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. cool. Episode 51. Let's do it. Uh, episode 50. No, it's uh, it's 51. What about episode 50? We don't talk about 50. When did we know? We don't talk about 50. When did we We don't talk about 50. What about 50? We don't talk about 50. Guess who we are? Or uh, that? We are uh, Wayne and Garth. Nope. I refuse. Wait, why do you refuse? I hate Wings World. Really? Hate it. Even the second one? Even the second one. The second one's better than the first one. I agree. Fair enough. Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. I'll, 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 take I'll do Bill that. I'll take Bill and Ted. Like I a, prefer Bill and Ted. Like somewhere between Bill and Ted and Jay and Silent Bob is where yeah. we lie. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. like a weird yeah. mixture there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. But I'm Mike. And I'm Keanu Reeves. <laughs> actually pretty good <laughs> this is zach and this is box and shots and every january we try to put together uh, some sort of top 10 list yeah. of the previous year which would be 2020 which lasted roughly 10 years yeah and we are perpetually late all of our top 10s come like three to four weeks after yeah nobody cares because a lot of people i feel like uh that first couple weeks is mm -hmm. going and one of these years maybe we'll film it in December but we get no. bots like all throughout the yeah. month but also I think people jump the gun they're like mid-December these are my top these are my top they're like what are you what are you doing what's the last two weeks yeah just fuck the last two weeks I guess right seriously yeah, yeah. now these bots all came out in 2020 that yeah. was the rule so there were a couple bots we got technically in 2020 yes but they weren't really 2020 bots they were before because yeah, it was like a they few were days older. before yeah, yeah. or they we're like right on the cusp of 2020, 2021, yeah. but they weren't like, they were 2021 yeah. bots. And so like Kingdom isn't going to be in this yeah. as much as we wanted it to be. Yeah, because I did get that black rack yeah. right before the end of the year. S Studio Series 86, which I definitely got before the new year, yeah. doesn't count because it's not supposed to be out until like April. Yeah, and it, you, know, you got it like three days. It was like three days before. And, yeah. and honestly, they all th like all three of those figures, they would have like rated our top ten. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not fair. It's disingenuous yeah. to this previous year's offering. Yeah. So... Those are 2021 bots. So basically everything for Earthrise came out in this one year and usually like has was like a year and a half. Year and a half or so, yeah. Yep. So yeah, this was definitely a weird year. A weird year. And everything came out in a very disorienting like wave set. Yep, so, absolutely. Yeah. So let's get started and buckle up with our top 10. But before we do that, this is bots and shots. So we have to do the shots part. I never resigned my contract. I don't for care. This year, so. You don't really even exist legally. I'm a blonde white woman. I am all that exists. That's actually true. Mm -hmm. Not getting any younger, so that feels good. <laughs> all right, well, coming in at number 10 on my list, we have Transformers Earthrise Walgreens exclusive Transformers War for Cybertron. Right. Walgreens, Walgreens exclusive, exclusive colon. colon. Debt collector Debt. colon. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this is Blue Streak. So this is essentially an extensive uh, retool of the Siege mold, which I think was a Selects exclusive. No, oh, um, it, Smokescreen was a Selects exclusive. Uh, Walmart. Walmart. 35th anniversary. Walmart exclusive. was a 30th. That's right. Um, I didn't get that one uh so i, I definitely I did, I did get that one. yeah um but you know what the first one of these i did get was prowl yeah and i liked it so much i'm like i need all of these because this bad boy right here is basically a mini mp yes version of that figure his car mode is fantastic mm -hmm. it's nice it's compact it looks like a it was a a, a, a z a Datsun z3 yeah. or something like that but the the robot mode is perfect. He's also, got that face sculpt is one of the best of the entire line. 
That's Agreed. gorgeous. It's a gorgeous looking face. He doesn't come with this. I just kind of put it on there for fun. What the fuck, bro? I know. But he's got the ankle tilt. He's yeah. got great proportions. He comes with not only his little shoulder cannons, but the regular gun. So he's got, like, sometimes you get a, a figure and they come with, like, an accessory that's also, like, part of them or yeah. something. Like, uh, Sunstreaker doesn't come oh, yeah. with his actual gun. He comes with the thing his, that's the, supposed to be on the his thing back. The thing that's on his back. Like, it's supposed to be on his back. That's actually why he wasn't in my top ten. Um, because he doesn't come with a gun. Yeah. I feel like this one, of the three, I like this one the best because not only does he come with his gun, he comes with those little shoulder cannons. Because yeah. uh, he, he almost made it into my, my yeah. top list. Because Blue Streak is my favorite of the three Datsun brothers. I think person. Prowl is usually my favorite, but I like this toy more than I like right. Prowl. The reason he didn't make my cut is my stickler sense, where I was super mad sure. with Earthrise. And I always get this out of the way now. Yeah, you know, just get out of the way. Uh, that I really hated that they did the Siege uh, Cybertronian versions and then Earthrise, this one. I wish if they had skipped it and did like Kingdom in between or something where there was like a line in between, it was just the back to back. Fuck you, man. Like yep. I just bought that fucking thing. So that's the reason he didn't make my And time. that's a valid complaint. One of the big problems with Earthrise is most of the vehicles were the same we got as Siege, but retooled to be Earth modes. Yeah. And they're better. The number 10 spot could have honestly gone to any of like three or four different bots. I literally played Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo to see which of those got the 10 spot. And Blue Streak here won. Because he got the tiger by the toe. He did it. He doesn't, like, what do you do with it? Yeah. Like, you got a tiger by his toe. Is that his weak spot? That's bot? so stupid. Did we decide that? Oh, my God. Is this, like, empirical proof? That, that is not a scientific thing. Weak? Do not ever grab a tiger by I its toe. I think we should go. No. Nope. We can test it on no. Callie. She's kind of a tiger. Like, she's a little tiger. You got to grab it by the back. <laughs> do you think zookeepers do that? They, they grab a tiger by its scruff and, like, Come pick on, it up. big bitch. <laughs> and then just goes. <laughs> it just, the tiger is just like. <laughs> That's my top 10. My turn? Yeah, what's your number 10? Um, so what I got for this bitch is I got the uh, War for Cybertron Netflix, or Transformers colon War for Cybertron colon Netflix colon Walmart, I guess, sort of exclusive or whatever, uh, Nemesis put, Prime. Put all this on. Yeah, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. Sort. Of, oh, wait, he's got extra... He better come with that stuff. How much was he? Like 50 bucks? 70 bucks? I think it was 60. 60? Yeah. yeah, I think he was 60. I have a Nemesis Prime collection. Yeah, you do. It yeah, kind of started do. by accident, but I really do like the look of a nice, thick Nemesis Prime. <coughs> He's the Siege Prime. Right. But he comes with the Earthrise's trailer, and then the Earthrise snake repaint, but also, weirdly enough, the accessories for the Power of the Prime's Amazon Nemesis Prime exclusive. The, it's really weird. The guns and the sword. Yeah, yeah, the sword that turns into like a bird. Yeah, it's this guy right here. And then they, they did another Nemesis Prime in Japan that's a darker, glossier black with more turquoise. I don't really like the Earthrise Prime all that much <laughs> in comparison to the Siege Prime. <clears throat> like, it's just, I, I love the playability of it. Like, it's like a fucking Figma Revolt Tech thing. Like, it's, yeah. its posability is off the charts. Yeah. But I like my Prime a little bulkier. I like a little bit more of a bulked out beefcake prime. So while I do like the Earthrise prime, I thought the Siege was a little bit better. And then you're adding some hot, thick blackness to mine. So uh, I was definitely down with this hot black beefcake. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I like my men's like I like my nemesis primes. Thick and black. Thick and black. Thick and black. Sure. It's just, it's really weird. They just kind of gave you a bunch of accessories that have already been yeah, out. With a Nemesis Prime. <clears throat> right. Like, it, it wasn't even and, like... And these made more sense on the last Nemesis Prime. Yeah, because you could plug them into his shoulders. But it was also kind of a Power Master Optimus Prime yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, like, it was just a personal call. Like, sure. I, I just... I I'm like, not judging you. I feel the judgment. I like him. Yeah. I'm, like glad, him. I'm glad. Yeah. You like him top 10. Yeah. Barely top 10. Barely. Well, that was a fun top 10, wasn't it? It was a great time. Yeah. Now back to episode yeah. 50. Right. Nope. We don't talk about that. I almost threw this, I almost threw this in your face. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get to we're gonna, 50. We're going to get to 50. You and me, the viewers at home and me, we're going to get to the bottom of this conspiracy. 50 never happened. Whatever he's 50 trying 50 never to happened. But we got to 51. 50 had to happen. 50 Logistic doesn't exist. Rate. 50 isn't a number. Since when? Since forever. Let's do a shot so we can get into our next bot. Only if I can get into my next butt. <laughs> nope. There you go. Oh. 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 <laughs> mm. 
daddy likey. <laughs> so am I going first next week? No, I go first. Unless you want to go first. I don't really so care. You want, to, you want to alternate? No, you alternate? Let's alternate. We yeah, go first next. I, I what's your number nine, Dick? I genuinely don't care. Zach, what's your number nine? Okay, my number nine, I liked a lot, and it surprised me. Oh, man, he was almost in my top ten. And then there was a lot of uh, controversy with this figure. But yeah, the, but, understandable. But overall, I think more excitement than controversy. I agree. He Contro- was really hard to find when he came yeah. out. I think controversy at first was his scale. Mm-hmm. Um, even though a lot of us at Heroes out there um, appreciate the differentiation in scale. But it's the parts forming backpack. The part, that was that was the big one. And I I get it. I don't care I don't personally. Care yeah. But I get it. I don't think it's as obnoxious as like the Ironhide... Back, I agree. Backpack, hundred percent agree. Um, from from later, but how uh, great was this unexpected fucking thing? He was really great. We all wanted a cliff jumper. Yep. And he's the first. Cliff Finally, jump- we got a good cliff jumper. And he and the bee is repainted off of him. Yes. Well, it might have a remold, but yes. Yeah, yes. but it's yeah. redone off this one. Yes. And just the mechanics of this guy are mm-hmm. so fucking fun. He sat on my desk for a long time. I had so many little photos of him, like yeah. doing cheap shots on big bots and stuff, and cheap shots on big bots. <laughs> and he comes with his his uh, bazooka. That honestly, I love that. But this thing is just such a cute little figure, and I think why he edged out certain other figures in my line because I was debating with him was just the novelty of this, the yeah. fact that I don't think any of us had expected a fucking stellar cliff jumper. Absolutely, at all. I like little bots. And you cannot lie. No. But you should because uh, you don't want the FBI or whatever. Yeah, that's that's right. Little bots I mean, that you no, like, yeah. All my bots may look little, but they, but they are legal and they are uh, computer generated. Hundred percent. Yep. Computer generated. Yep. Uh, yeah. That's my pick. What do you? What are you oh yeah. What are you swinging out? So swing. My number nine might be I don't know a little controversial, a little surprising. Oh. It's the first third party bot of the of the year. I got this for Christmas. I guess of the of the the list of the list. Yeah. I got this for Christmas not from for, not first from my hearts, wife. Though. No, absolutely not. He's good. Trailbreaker has always been one of my absolute favorite bots. I like the truck. He's like a camper truck. Yeah. I just like how down to earth that is. Yeah. I liked his run in IDW. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Of all the Transformers that transform into like Lamborghinis and shit, this guy chose a camper. Yeah. I mean, if, if there's that like half and half set where there's like glamour vehicles mm-hmm. and then there's like responsible yeah right. trade school oriented <laughs> right. vehicles and i don't know as a, as a kid i always just liked the I, every time i got a truck i was like oh man i got a truck i got i got to, it's, it's trail breaker or whatever he is kind of a, a pain to uh to transform not super much of a pain but he's not what i would consider to be fun but this is from x trans bots this is there i think that i think it's ages yeah, Aegis? A- I, I think it's Aegis. Aegis. It's, it's like S.H.I.E.L.D. This is a, the cartoon repaint, because the, the real version of this one, the... It's like a starker black. Yeah, it's like a starker black, and his the little cream color here is more yeah. of a silver. That one came out a couple years ago, I think like a year or two ago. Yeah, because I was going to say, you were talking about this guy like <clears throat> he was new, but I remember, like, I thought I had seen this for a while, but they, also... They with, with just... The, the third party, like, you'll announce something, and sometimes years will go that's by true. before it pops true. No, that did come out, but they just... This year, re-released him with more cartoon accurate colors. He comes with a lot of fun accessories. He has like a little tea set on like um like a stump to mm-hmm. kind of look like like it's like a campsite nice. kind of thing. But most of the accessories are for his truck mode, so he doesn't really have like a gun or anything except yeah, for his he little. Is. He's like I mean he's got a whole gun hand. Yeah. Um, but he comes with like an alternate hand, so you can give him both hands and things like that. But yeah, I mean he's got a pretty good like heft to him. Yeah. Yeah. I like that his legs are really solid. They are. They're very solid legs. So yeah, that's my number nine. I like him. I mean, obviously, I like him top ten, but uh, he's he's just number nine, which is surprising to me. But that's just what this year was like. Yeah, it was a weird year. Weird year. Without getting into the things. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Where? I don't know. The backyard, maybe. To China. Let's find out. All right. Okay. Okay. So, you feeling a little saucy yet? I'm not. I'm not not a little bit. I'm I'm like, is it weird? I feel like I'm on the cusp. Like, I feel like it's about. Well, I feel like it's the time. Like, we've done essentially one whole shot at this point. Like, like one of our like a normal shot, and it's only been like twenty minutes. 
true. Yeah, it's true. All right. <laughs> I was like, are you, are you going to say something? Did, did Zach.exe quit working? Oh, it's hot. It's hot in here. It's warm. It's great. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's I'm warm. getting a little sweaty. It's warm. Yeah. Warm. So it's, uh, this is uh, top eight. We're in number, the number eight slot. We're only doing eight now. Apparently we're losing. That's it. We're losing, we're, we're losing our religion. Mm. <laughs> ah. So I believe this is you. Yeah, so it's me. So this is number eight. This is number eight. So Not let's eight. let's do number eight. Um, my number eight is I'm gonna do a little preamble for this because for me my number eight is a big deal. It was my Grail for the longest time, and now and now that I have my Grail, I have to find a new Grail. That's like a big deal. I have to find. It's weird. I, I I got a couple of my Grails yeah. in recent years, and then when you're done, you're like, what do I what do I even live for now? But my Grail was Transformers Prime, and until. This year, it was Japan exclusive breakdown. I think back in like August, Hasbro announced that since it was the 10 year anniversary of Transformers Prime, they were gonna reissue, or I guess issue, a couple figures that never made it stateside. Yeah. And one of those was a two pack with this guy and the Air Vehicon, both of which never came out in the US. For 40 bucks, this guy usually goes for like more than that yeah like a hundred or so or there was a period of time where i was kind of silently stalking him because like you know we found the lug nut for you and whatever like yep. that grail and so i'm like i wonder if i can find this thing and i could never find it no below, like, he was 85 yeah. to 100 and and the thing is like as much as i wanted this i knew right now it's like a 10 year old bot and it has the articulation and the engineering of a 10 year old bot right it's definitely a product of its time which is fine but not the kind of thing I'd want to drop that much money on. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I understand completely. <clears throat> yeah. So I finally have Transformers Prime, Adam Baldwin. So this was an exclusive to Hasbro Pulse. And it was originally the date for its release was January 1st, 2021. But it came out in December. And since it was exclusive... It was as early as November. Yeah. yeah. Well, and since it was exclusive to Hasbro Pulse... For me, that's just a release. Like, yeah. You know, it's not like, you know, it's supposed to come out in 2021 and Target put them out early. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, th that that doesn't count. But this one, I feel like this counts for a 2020 release, and I'm very excited to have it. Um, it does have a sticker set I haven't put on. I'm hoping, actually, that Toy Hacks puts out a sticker set, because uh, people say the sticker set that it comes with is pretty bad. And he has a little arms micron kind of, it's like a transformer. That, I think it's like a hammer that turns into like a rhino kind of thing mm. but it's like a, a kit you have to build so I, I haven't done that yet the only thing i don't like is his head doesn't come like forward all the way it's like it's like back yeah and that's just that's just how it is he's just always like this <laughs> maybe up, bro? uh he also like he doesn't have like articulation like he doesn't have the the, the ten year old toy. Ten, yeah, it's a ten year old. Honestly, C just spoiled us. And with and that's why it's so low on my list. Despite being a figure I've wanted for forever, uh, he just doesn't make the cut because of that. But he's good. Yeah, I like him. So what's your number eight? <laughs> my number eight. Um, I wasn't sure where to rank this one in the set because it was a, it was kind of a weird release. Like it came out suddenly. Like it came out very suddenly. It's uh, Mastermind Creations. I don't remember what the fuck his name was. N Memo? Nemo? Oh yeah, Nemo. Nemo. Or whatever, whatever, yeah. Uh, which is IDW Chrome Dome. He's not without his boy toy. Rewind. He's definitely an interesting figure. Like there's this weird balance between where like, he's so lean and, but he's so accurate to the comic, which is. They did a really good job making that comic accurate. Yeah, yeah, which is insane how accurate it is. Like, even the little Tumblr vehicle mode he turns into, which is funny because, like, Ember in the comic, his original name is Tumblr. And then he's a little Tumblr vehicle. Is it really? Yeah, his name is Tumblr, and then he gets renamed Chrome Dome. But he's just super posable. And the only thing I don't like about these and why I think it was a little lower on my list is they scale so big. It, hopefully they'll do more figures, but he scales well with like the Hot Rod and the Megatron and the Cyclonus and stuff. All the MMC. Yeah, like the, the ones they've already done. IDW people, world. yeah. Uh, my only problem with him, which is why he's not technically on the list, but he's an accessory, is his arms don't really move up or down. Like that side. Yeah, but I think most because he's just an accessory for this thing. He's a really fun toy to pose. Like I was having a lot of fun playing with him on my desk. Like he, it was surprising mm -hmm. how much he just kind of 
crept into my yeah that actually set. i think the fun factor played a lot with my list this year yeah because unlike le last couple of years where we we divided our top 10 list between like third party bots and official because it's really hard to compare them because it's you naturally want to put your more expensive bots higher on the list yes but it's like are they really are they good because they're more expensive or are they actually good and fun to play with yeah they do have a fun accessory where there's two molded hands that are holding hands that you can put on both of them so they can hold hands. That's fun. Because they're a that is, That's cute. Yeah. But I think ultimately what sold me on this is like the postability is really great. But yeah, I can tell. The, yeah. the mold is just fun. It's a fun looking mold. Like it's really unique. But yeah, I like him. So yeah. He's snazzy. Snazzy. He's snazzy. Snazzy. We're steadily climbing. We're reaching the... Wait, we're climbing or we're coming down? I guess it's that whole glass empty half full thing, or half empty half full thing, where it's like, like we're ascending the list numerically, but no, we're, we're also... descending the list numerically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're descending numerically, but we're like ascending in like greatness. I guess. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. like, like we're going down from ten to one, but yeah. you know, in this case, one is the tippy top. Like, like when bad means good in nineties parlance. Like, that's the thing that kind of fell out of use. That's so bad. So, oh, that's so bad. Oh, girl, you bad. Oh, man, that's bad. Let's bring that back. Yeah, let's bring that back. How, on a scale from, from one to bad, how bad is that bot? <laughs> how bad is that? How bad is, is that bot? Check out how bad this bot is. Oh, it's so bad. I wonder if it's because... It feels weird to say that I, now. I wonder if it's because Wicked kind of stole it. Like, man, that's wicked. That's wicked. Or, but even, even that's I gone just, now. I remember how cool it was to say that something man, was bad. that's so bad. But now it feels so unnatural. I'm reclaiming bad. This is kind of hitting us a little bit weird, hard, because... Uh, I'm out of practice. We, have, we haven't done that many episodes this last year. 2020 threw us all for a tizzy. Uh, we got kind of crazy with it. I think we only did, other than the top 10 bots for la from 2019, Yeah, we, we only did one other physical episode like this. That's it. Yeah. Tanks and Planes. Yeah, we did a Tanks and Planes episode, and that was pretty much it for the Even whole year. I swear to God there's an episode 50. But we did some live streams, which we might do more of that, but whatever. So this, so we're, we're kind of out of practice with our yeah. routine shot series. So this is going to get a little mm -hmm. messy. Here's, here's to getting back on track for 2021. <laughs> My number seven bot is kind of a weird choice. Just bear with me. I'm going with um, Transformers, colon, War for Cybertron, colon, Earthrise, colon, Snapdragon. I have always loved Snapdragon and Apeface. What's not to like about Snapdragon? Yeah, I always loved like just the weird monster bots yeah. that were like, they weren't obviously Beast Wars type style, where they turn into like a beast. I was like robot monsters they turn into and- Like Dinobots. Yeah. And like it, no one goes, oh, that trans Tyrannosaurus Rex looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. Like, you fucking know what Grimlock looks like. Yeah, like, and, and I loved the monster headmasters. Like all of them I thought were like fucking great. And uh, there's something about him that is so like dependable. Like sure. he, he transforms into his jet really nicely and the dinosaur mode is really good. He's not super flashy. He just hangs out. He's a solid guy and he's fun to play with. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna break him at all. There's some issues I wish that they had. Like I wish their elbows were a little bit tight, like more Yeah, he, he kind of just goes like this. Yeah. But he's like a very solid, cool, weird bot. He's my, one of my bots that just stayed near my couch. He was like a fun bot to just kind of fiddle around with. He's a fuck around bot. Yeah. He's a fuck bot. He's a fuck bot. And I needed that this year. I needed a casual fuck this, bot. This was the fuck bot yeah. year. I know he's not perfect. I know he, he's not always going to be on everyone's top 10 list. He's not on mine. He just met a lot of my requirements for just a fun, fun time gal. Honestly, I, I kind of forgot he came out. Mine's been in my bedroom because I took him in there when I got him because I wasn't feeling well. So I was just laying in bed and playing around with him. And then I put him on the shelf in there and just totally forgot yeah. that I had him for a long time. Because that was the weird part about Earthrise. I guess this is a good time to get into this because we're, do we're doing a bot real quick, is that uh, the waves were so broken up weird because the beginning of the year, we got wave one. Yep. 
pretty much right when the pandemic was kind of shutting stuff down. It's so like the cliff jumper line kind of happened. And then it was like right before it shut down. Yeah. Yeah. It was like they were filtering out right around there. I think that was like March-ish. And then we didn't really get anything until like July, June, July. And that's when these guys started popping out, like July era. Yeah. Like him and Double Dealer and all those ones. Yep. So there was a few months of a wait there. Well, there. I feel like for being a triple changer, he hits, he hits it all really well. Yeah. You know, he I like that his like, head becomes the jaw of the, of that, the yeah. of the dinosaur. Yeah, like he's he's just a very like he's a dependable bot. Like he's not gonna woo you all crazy, but he's also not gonna let you down. He's a very he's he, never gonna give you he's, up. He's the guy you wind up with at the end of the. He's the day. safe choice. Yeah, he's the safe choice you go home with because you know he's not gonna break your yeah. heart. He's just happy to be with exactly. you. So damn, this is my number seven. He's a solid pick. I there like you go. That. You, oh, is it my turn? Okay, it's my turn. Well, my number seven is um completely different. Yeah, because that's just how this works. We very rarely have the same bot. Uh, but we, we, have, we have we have we have we have intersection. I don't think we're gonna have. We don't one. have any intersections this time. Yeah. No, we have no bots that yeah. are the same. We we have we haven't spent that much time together. No, nope. my number seven is Transformers colon War for Cybertron colon Earthrise colon Netflix colon Walmart exclusive colon Soundwave colon. He's essentially an extensive retool of the Siege Soundwave, but unlike the Siege Soundwave, he actually transforms into a tape deck, mm -hmm. which as much as I enjoyed the robot mode of Transformers Siege Soundwave, I hated the fact that he turned into like a thing. Yeah. He turns into a spaceship. Yeah. Like that's what kept him out of the top 10 for me last year. Although I have to say, what kept him out of my top 10, because he was a very near miss, was the same principle as Blue Streak. Like, I was kind of sure. mad that I had to buy the other one, and then this one came out a year later. Like, if there was a spacing mm -hmm. of, like, an in-between year, and then this one came out, I, I would have been fine with it. But that the way the way I saw it is I got to be salty about it, or I could appreciate oh, yeah. that Hasbro finally put out the absolute best G1-inspired sound wave they've ever put out that's not I, Masterpiece Soundwave. I have to say, he is in the same exact running I had with Seed Shockwave. I'm like, yeah. this is the guy. This yeah. is the one I've been wanting the whole time. Yeah. Um, I hate that he lacks the yellow stripe that the Siege one does have sure. on his arm. Yep. And I hate that they left this. They left, yes. Because they, there's no point to it they, in the they, they left these stupid little skid things in there, and it's annoying. I don't know why they have it. Because that whole time I was like, does this work into the transformation? And nope, it doesn't. Not, not even once. But yeah, he's got a whole new head mold. He has the red eyes instead of the yellow eyes, so he's cartoon accurate. He doesn't have the, the siege blast marks and weathering yeah, and shit like I, that. I, I love that. Yeah. Uh, he comes with... Laser Beak and Ravage. Who have also been. And they've been slightly remolded as well. They yeah. both have new heads that are more accurate to the cartoon. And the Earth mode. The Earth mode, yeah. Yeah. I don't know where, because as soon as I bought this, the other one just like got put into a box. To be <clears> like, mine's in that, I think in that box or in the box over there. I don't even need it anymore. I don't care about the Siege one. I would throw that one away. Because this is everything this that is one should guy. have been. This is the guy. Is, and it, is it stupid that he turns into a tape player? Yes. Completely. Getting him in hand and opening it was what it was the same feeling I had with the shockwave, where I was like, This is the one I wanted since I got back into collecting. I'm just very happy to, after all this time, finally have a sound wave that is just this good. That's all I got. Between him and having like a Snapdragon that I never thought I'd have, like. Like, I thought to get this, I'd have to wait for like a fans project type company to make sure. it. Sure. The fact that they mainlined me this and this in the same year. It's nuts. Kind of it doesn't feel you, like it's the same year. Shows you how fucking weird this yep. year was. Agreed. Yeah, Earthrise was the perfect line for this year because yep. it made no fucking sense. Nope. And, but some of us incidentally got what we wanted out of this whole thing. I agree. Thing. I agree. So, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Guys. Thanks, guys. Okay, well, hi. Oh, ah, uh, bleh. Hi. <laughs> hi. That's how I just, that's how I say hi in 2021 yeah. now. It's just, you know how bad was a cool thing in like 1989? You're really intent on bringing bad, it's, bad. It's, bad it's coming it's like, back. It's like a thing. It's, it's coming back. <laughs>
It's gonna be so bad. My my personal endeavor for the last couple of years was to bring like wiener back into it. Like you're seeing such it's a wiener. wiener. Right Something's such a wiener about you're such that. a wiener, dude. And you're like, a bad wiener. People are like, what? And I'm like, hey, did you call me a wiener? Just call me a wiener, dude. Me. Now meet me in the rollerblading. What round are we on now? Six round six coming at you. That's how Cobra Commander would say it. Six. 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 <laughs> Imagine talking like that every day. Come on, Come on guys. <laughs> Who used all the toilet paper? So I put the milk on back in the fridge. Come on, guys. <laughs> Where's all the salt and pepper shakers? Kind of had a Joker of Mark Hamill thing going on there. Oh, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a weird way to start the round. Let's get going. <laughs> okay, so round six. Yeah, round six. You're up. What do we I'm got? Up. What, what's, for, on, what's on your spectrum? For my number six, right sort of in the middle-ish of the spectrum, Yeah, actually. Uh, but on the lower side, we have Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise. Also, well, no, it was just Earthrise. Yeah. Uh, Optimus Prime. Because this could, this isn't the right deco for Earth Earthrise Netflix colon no. or now Kingdom colon. Yeah. Well, Kingdom and Earthrise were the same, as far as I, I know. I know. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. So they did re release this. If you didn't get it, but this is probably one of the best official Optimus Primes Hasbro's made that turns into like a classic yeah. truck. I actually did a full review on this, like an actual actual review i haven't done an actual transformers review in forever yeah. but i like this one so much i did a review on it the reason it's so low though is that it is like 40 percent the siege optimus prime my only problem uh my only two problems physically yeah. with this toy he's very high waisted he's very high waisted very high he's very high waisted and i know they were trying to do us a proper gun for this yes but i kind of don't like it it looks like the back part's optimus prime but the front part looks too much like megatron's gun sure it does like kind of a fusion bit. cannon kind yeah, of thing like going yeah thing. yeah but yeah. what i don't like about it is this butt flap with the wheels ah the I, wish siege, it was, I wish it was a little lower the, so we could have proper cheeks well that's because that i want to nice. i want sure, to cu cup, cup some cheeks in the siege one these tuck into the chest and I like that's, that. That's good, yeah. You can, if you want to, just pull this off. Like, the, the whole... I, I'm too drunk to pull it off right now. I don't want to, like, break it. But isn't you can also kind of fold it down around the hips, too? Um, no, not really. I don't think I so. I thought there was a thing where you could... Unfold. I don't want to mess around with it, but... Also, I'm not a fan of his legs have a lot of weird hinges and things, because they're literally the siege legs. Remolded. But, but remolded and backwards. Yeah. So, they... they but they, they kept the the hinges and things like that i thought i was missing steps because i'm like where are all these hinges yeah where do they come into play am i it, missing something it's like the same thing they did with the sound wave right? yes like they they modded it improved it but then left some stuff there i yeah. imagine just because it was cheaper and yeah. faster just to do it that way but either way he comes with his trailer he doesn't come with like a roller or anything which is kind of weird hasbro did like an add-on kit that came with stuff for him like the roller and, and then the, 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 the energy axe and stuff yeah so if you want to track that down it's sold out and it's and i wish i kind of got it but i didn't uh because it also comes with like bumblebee's gun at the same at the time bumblebee wasn't a thing yeah so and now i regret not getting it i could have bumblebee's gun i could have him in energy axe and stuff it is, it is what it is. It's 2020. If you're looking for like a G1 inspired Optimus Prime, this is about as good as it gets right now from Hasbro yeah. officially. So it's nice. This is my only Optimus Prime on this list this year. Yeah. This is it. So yeah, that's my number six. Sexy six. But speaking of sexy six, 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 nines, here's mine. Anyway, so my sexy six 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 nine is fun because it was his pack mate. I am doing a uh, war for Cybertron. Technically, Earthrise Astro Train. This was the Siege figure originally, and they repacked it for Earthrise. We on the West Coast, at least in our humble burg of San Diego County, did not get the Siege Astro Train at all. So this came out for us at the very beginning of 2020, yep. along with this guy. Yep. And I 
loved this toy. For some reason, Astro Train has always been like, like neck and neck with Blitzwing for uh, being in my heart as my favorite Decepticon triple changer. I just always thought he was kind of cool in a weird way. And even though I loved the Titties Return one for certain things, just the aesthetics of this guy are so good. He's like chunk and he's got this design. It's just so great. Um, I know he's his smallness, I guess, pissed off a lot of people for his leader scale, especially because like, it's just this extra shit that makes him slightly taller. Well, whatever. it's the same thing with Shockwave. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's like, you can be mad about it or you can embrace the fact that we have an Astro Train that is as good as the Netflix Soundwave or yep. the Seed Shockwave. We, we, we made the same argument with Shockwave and it applies for that Soundwave and this one. If a third party company like Fans Project, mm -hmm. they did Chug Stuff, made this for 50 to $60 and Hasbro was not doing it, yep. the fans would be jumping out the fucking <clears throat> door. They'd be talking about how amazing this is. Yeah, so the fact that Hasbro did it and it's at a price that's like whatever if you can get some discounts on it good for you it's cool but this was just such a cool fucking toy surprisingly posable for how chunky he is and I just want to point out we did not plan oh yeah this yeah this was pure happenstance yeah. for anyone who's never seen our top 10 episodes we'll bring the bots together yeah I can see what he's got but I don't he, know what order they're in yeah there. and it's the same thing yeah. neither of us knows what order anything is in nope. so this was a good Good combo, but I think it's got a lot, a decent amount of haters, but I feel Fuck like... Fuck the haters. But also the people that loved it kind of got that this is fucking great. And But the only thing that's disappointing about this toy is now I really hope there's a Blitzwing of equal quality. Oh, God, yes. Like, that's the problem. Is like this. We was, need a Kingdom Blitzwing that's as good as this. Like, this was so good, so solid. It just fills you with hope yep. in that way that the Soundwave does and that Optimus Prime does. We're like, yep. fucking, finally. Yep. They fucking did the Astro Chain you yep. want. And he's decently what you Yeah, he doesn't look bad from the back. And you know what? Screw the haters. This thing's kind of cool. Yeah. It can be, like, an armored-up mode for him. It can be like a platform for the uh, the space shuttle, or it can be like an extra little cart yeah. for the train. Like, it's kind of fun. Just everything about this, that fucking head sculpt and everything, this toy just fucking sold me. Like, I didn't even mind spending $50 on it. I was just excited to see it in stores because we mm -hmm. got totally gypped on the fucking Siege end of it. We were both so excited to get this to the end of Siege yep. that it never came to our no, show. We, I was, we were bummed. I thought I was going to have to go on eBay to get it because yeah. there's no way I wasn't going to buy it. Yeah, but then they announced the repack of Earthrise and I think this was the first Earthrise set. Yeah, these are the two, first. the first two leaders to come out. Yeah, and then yeah. slowly the Deluxes came out after that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this is my number six. I love him. Yeah. So anyway, we're on. Pushed, pushed we are we are on round five. Five. We are over the midway hump, everybody. Yeah. We've humped midway. Yeah, we are on the we are on the hump day of our work week of That's our right. and shots. That's right. We so are, let's let's get that hump over. <laughs> so what's your number five, Zach? Number five, and it's like number five with an asterisk, is. Transformers, colon, Warper Cybertron, colon, Earthrise, colon, Target Exclusive, colon, Thrust. And what bums me out is like, Dirge fucks it up because there's Thrust and Ramjet, yep. and then Dirge. Very sexual and Except, sad. And then for Coneheads, it's even better because they've got Because the they point. got, yeah. We didn't have Coneheads for a long time. Nope. And this represents, did we, have we done any of the sequels nope. for this? No, we, we did. The Tanks and Planes. I right? think we did. Uh, we did Sky Warp for Tanks and Planes, yeah. and I think I did Starscream on one of the streams. All of the Coneheads have different wings, different wing ensembles. That's true. The Coneheads for me are one of those groups where like, you always think of the first three Seekers. But the Coneheads you always think of as like another dumb team. Yeah. But they're so silly that over time they've endeared <clears throat> themselves to me where I've always wanted a set of them. But my only options were either to go like MP. Yeah. Or there was the I Gear set. Yep. And either way, like, that was stupid expensive. It's stupid expensive. That. Yep. They did cone heads with the original classics. Yeah. But those were always kind of, like, smaller. But yeah. Even, but even then, by the time we got back into collecting, those were rare and yep. expensive to find. So finally they do a set, and this was a clusterfuck. Beyond clusterfucks. Because the first ones were Dirge and Ramjet. Two, I mean, everyone out there knows. Yep. Two, pers two, two teams, two guys set uh, Amazon Prime exclusive. I got my set, 
missing all the guns. That's right off the bat. So personally, mine was not, but that's yeah. Sucks. Personally, uh, Thrust is my least favorite of the three. Well, no, maybe I don't know. Maybe. He's Dur- my most favorite. I'll say Dirge is actually my favorite. Wings. Dirge is my favorite. I always like the blue on him or whatever. But he didn't come with the guns. There was this whole fucking run around. Well, none of them come with the right guns. They come with the oh, same Seeger Null Rays. But my stuff yeah. was missing pieces, and it, and I had to deal with this whole fucking thing with do, talking to Hasbro Pulse. Well, that because they were Amazon exclusive, and some people were getting them like the box with just a shipping label slapped yeah. on the box, which is ridiculous. Yeah. I lucked out. I got refunded a little bit from Amazon. I also, while complaining to them, complained to Hasbro, and they sent me like a. Yeah, we can't do this because it's an Amazon thing. So here's a free toy. So I got the Ectotron, the first one. Okay. Free, and I'm like, all right. And then uh, the No Nef company made proper guns for them that I just bought for the yeah, set. Yeah, anyway. you could buy one of those. So I, I would have replaced the guns anyway with yeah. those. So it was just kind of funny getting all angsty about it. But my story is annoying, but not nearly as annoying as everyone who didn't get theirs who got utterly fucked over by this weird mismanagement of it. Yep. And I think I wouldn't have even gotten mine if you didn't shoot me that link instantly. Like, here's the right link to buy it from. And then I just, like, slam that pre-order down. That aside, this is Thrust, who is another exclusive. It wasn't even the same thing they did with the Datsun brothers, where at least there's Smokescreen, who was normal. But this is a Target exclusive, mm-hmm. which... We were on day one with this fucking thing. Like, I hunted this shit down. We got it locked in there. But I have seen this I've toy. seen a bunch now. Yeah, I've seen yeah. like 20 or 30 I've of seen them. a bunch now. I genuinely feel bad for the people that are like elsewhere yeah. and not finding them. There were three at the Target I went to this morning yeah. before work. The only thing I don't like. Oh, yeah. I don't like the knees. You don't like the I don't knees? like them. They come up so high and like it's weird in plain mode. Fair enough. That's fair. That's fair. That's like my one complaint. I like them otherwise. The only thing I don't like is the cone is not black here. Yeah, that is Unlike weird. his head that is black here. Yeah. And the cone fake out thing is always weird. But whatever, yeah. that aside. Small nitpicks. Yeah. Honestly, I think the cone heads wear this mold better than the original. Thing. I agree. Like, they, especially with the different wings set. Yeah. It, it's not just a repaint. It's like a hold it. It's and like, I like, I like the, how the wings go on the legs. Like, the legs are a lot cleaner. Yeah, and even which the, I like. And even the other ones, even though they got the big wings that are lacking there, it's just different. I, yeah. li- I like that they're all three are different. I know we're supposed to like suck the dick off Starscream, Skywarp. And, Fuck those guys. Yeah. Like, they're cool, at. but this is the set like that makes you want, like, I have a cone head set. Yep. I'm done. I'm done. That's I'm it. done with them. I'm done. So that's why it's in my top five, because it's a kind of a completion thing. Like, yeah. I got him and I got the other two. I know a lot of people out there don't have any or only have part of it, and I feel bad for you. I honestly do. It's so got 99 good. problems, but a thrust ain't one. I like that. I like that. So what you got? Oh, what right. you got? Um, I have something completely different, like completely bonkers. It's barely even a transformer, but it is. This is the Transformers Back to the Future crossover gigawatt. He's going back in time. Going back in time. I got this through the power of love. That's the power of love. Not rest in peace, Huey Lewis. Yeah, Huey Lewis is definitely not dead. But But he lost his hearing. He can't sing anymore. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, like he had this big tour plan like in 2019. And he was gearing up for it. And his his hearing just died. Just gone. Like it just went so he couldn't sing anymore. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, so this is essentially the Transformers Siege Sideswipe. But as a DeLorean, a, a DeLorean, and it is. But is he a Mandalorian? <laughs> I've had just so much fun with this figure in car mode. He's a spot on DeLorean, but not only can you have the Back to the Future one look, he comes with a Mr. Fusion and the tires turn under, so you can have the Back to the Future two look as well, which is the superior look. There's just so many little things that I love. Uh, you can put the little Mr. Fusion in his wrist to make it like uh, like a wristwatch kind yeah. of thing. Uh, it also can peg onto the end of his gun, which is actually how it comes. The doors open up like they should. I I honestly I love the door wings. He, I, I I always I always like kind of I always like door wings. Like yeah, I always love that about you know like the wheel jacks of the world. So sure, I think it looks great on him. He's got a flux capacitor on his chest, and you can put that away if you don't like it. But it's got like the dates and stuff yeah. on there. He's just a lot of fun to play with in both car and robot mode. I've had 
a lot of fun with this guy. It existed on t-shirts for forever, you know, like, oh, cool Transformers, Back to the Future crossover. Optimus Time. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> all that bullshit. And then they were like, you know what? Let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. This has been like my desk bot. Like this more than any other Transformer in my collection that I've gotten this year has sat on my desk for months because it's just fun to play with. I'll be in a work meeting and I'll like hands off screen. I'll be transforming it back and forth. I like tucking the wheels under. It's just so much fun just to dick around with. But yeah, he's not like a Transformer, but, and, he, and, but he is. He's a Transformer crossover from with future. Back to the Future. So, I mean, he's official, so it counts. Yeah, yeah. he's a Mandalorian. Oh, fuck off. A woman Mandalorian? Sure. You want to get bad? Yeah, I do. So Let's gotta, get bad. You're going to dance at me like Wesley Snipes. I'm going to get you, vampires. Some motherfucker's always trying to ice skate uphill. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? Let's just get this on. <laughs> well, it, it's different. <laughs> It's so different. Mm -hmm. So for my number four, we have Masterpiece Hound. Hound. He came out in January of last year. I actually had to look that up to make sure he actually came out in this year. I do that one mine too. Yeah. But I got him for Christmas. So like that's that's why I wasn't sure. I got him basically almost a year after he came out. Well, I like him a lot. Hound has always been one of my favorite characters. And there have been a couple of like third party masterpiece scaled hounds. I've almost gotten every one. Like those were fine, but something about it just always like, ah, it's fine, but like never something I really wanted to buy. Um, it's not perfect. There are a couple of scary spots that you have to be careful of when you're transforming it because it is prone to breaking in a couple places if you manhandle it. He also does have like a floating head which weird. a lot of people don't like. I was wondering what that mechanism was behind his head. But... Yeah, it is his, his head, basically. But the fact that you get, like, this open cockpit Jeep into a pretty good robot yeah. with a lot of great articulation, I'm impressed. His arms are a little short. Like, I'll, I'll say the transformation is not too scary once you kind of know what like, to look out right for. Where you know the trouble spots are. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's got a bunch of shit tucked I, under his feet. I love his feet. I'm um, not going to lie. They look... Really cool and yeah. chunky. He's really good in robot mode. Lots of great articulation. He's really good in car mode. I had a lot of fun just kind of dicking around with him. But this is one of the reasons I don't think I'd ever do him like transforming on this show. Uh, okay. Just because it's it's only if you bend something and you feel like it should be able to pull all the way out and it doesn't. It's only designed to pull out just a little bit for for clearance and with drunk fingers and, and you know, with yeah. drunk fingers or you know because you you naturally want to pull it out like you feel like it should. So I'm not going to ever do it on the show. And that's why on the top tens, we don't transform. We're just showing you in robot modes and we show you pictures. Some of them could appear on a show. They could. But there are some that are just... Correct. But I really like this hound. He's a lot of fun to play around with. He's a snazzy looking fella. He this is. Was, this is my first time seeing one in person. Oh, so yeah, yeah. I'm uh, a bit more impressed than I expected to be yeah. seeing him. What's weird, like it's, it's almost over-engineered. Like this gun here... It like comes apart and and folds into the back in the back, so it's not like an extra piece That's that right. that like you clip I would, on. I would just assume you take it off. And no, it's it's, it it's actually part, part of the transformation. Yeah. All right. Fair enough, Hasbro designers. I, mean, I think in Jeep mode, it's actually tucked under between his legs like a dick. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Hot. Very hot. Hot. So that's my number four. What do you got? Uh. What do I got? Oh yeah. This guy's been on the show before. Oh, fun. He made it as debut in our Tanks and Planes episode of this year. Um, oh, yeah. This is uh, MMC Moors. We got Baby Arms Moors. Yeah, or uh, Helix, I believe is his actual character name. He's from the Decepticon Justice Division. He's a big, chunky boy. I like yeah. his three fingers. Yeah. He feels very safe. Like, you could break him, but you also feel like you're not going like, to... Take... You feel safe in his arms. Well, I mean, like, you don't feel like you're going to break him while transforming him. Sure. Like, everything just kind of pays together nicely. I think I already covered this. For those who didn't watch the episode or refused to, like this guy. He turns into like an acid bat tank. He's just fun. And he took so long to come out. 
Like the Decept- it did. There was a long break in between. What was the one before this one? Coulter. Oh no no there was there was a uh, nickel and the little uh, little girl figure with the wolf. Right. Foxwire yeah. and, and nickel. This year this came out and another one. So it finally completed the line. Twenty twenty, if anything, brought the completion of this. <clears throat> line the DJG. DJD. And DJ she, Tanner. And my girlfriend asked me, <clears throat> when did you buy the first one? And it suddenly dawned on me when I Voss was the first one out. Yeah. Uh, the little sniper rifle guy. For those at home. Is that twenty? 20- 15. 15? 15. I bought him in the bundle with the last piece of Warbatron. Wow, that is aged. Yeah, so... I mean, it's five years. Yeah, it's been five years. Almost six. So, yeah. So, here we are, five years to complete this lineup. Five years, five figures. It's been a long time. It's been a while. It's been a while. But, in all fairness, this and his compatriot were the big boys. Yeah. The set. The other ones are like, uh, I think Tarn is roughly this tall. And the chair guy. Take. Yeah, Tarn's probably that tall, give or take. And the chair guy's a little bit smaller. Boss smaller than that. So this is a big boy. I think Tarn's closer to this. Yeah, but he, he's, he's, he's anyway, yeah. this guy's a big boy. Yeah. He's a big, sassy boy. I love his big fingers, like you said. Like, they got the Ninja Turtle hands. His little sub hands are cool. Already covered them in the show, so fucking watch the episode. Yeah, just go watch it right now. Yeah. Go. We're drunk there too. Just, just fucking go. Get on it. Should we just launch into this? Yeah, let's just launch into it. Oh yeah, right. let's just launch we right are, into it. We are, we are the world. We are children. For the children. Oh, here's to round number three. Yes. <laughs> Who <laughs> invented whiskey? And fuck them. Okay, well, so this is round number three. We're getting there. We're we're coming right to the end. We're getting to the the, the good cream stuff. Of the crop. The, it's just coming right up, cream right up to the rises top. Yeah. to the top. So you you are number you're you're going first. What's uh, your number three, bot buddy? My number three. We're gonna keep it in the same line. This guy's not appeared in the show. This is MMC. I don't actually remember what his MMC name is, but this is Tesserus from the Decepticon Justice Division. I can't think of what his, his MMC, whatever, not real name is. He is the fifth and final member, official member of the DJD. He's bigger than the last boy. He, he would you would you pull the last boy? I just want to see how, how the size difference here. Because the last one was big, but yeah, yeah, he is bigger. He's a bigger that. boy. He's a bigger boy. Yeah. He's a, big guy the table. Yeah. He's, he's a big guy. He already had his time in the spotlight. Fuck that guy. He was on a whole episode. Yeah. This guy will probably appear in a future episode. Like Moore's, he's not that hard to do. There's just steps. You know what I mean? Like, I like there's steps for every Transformer. But I'm saying, it's, you, know, you know those transformations that are hard because you're already going to break something? Sure. He's not one of those. They're just, you got to do all these little small steps to get him to pop out. So that makes sense. it's just time consuming. Yeah. It's not particularly difficult past that. He's super fun. He's got moving. Yeah, he's got that grinder inside. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he comes with his cool grabber arms. I didn't expect to like this guy as much because honestly, this was kind of my least favorite member of the team. Interesting. The little missile pods come out separate, but super fun. And you're within reach to do it. Flywheels. And the comic. He's part of the scavengers and yep. gets eaten or gets killed by the DJD. Yeah, it was like the first time I, I think the DJD were in the comics. Yeah, yeah. So you can totally make him get eaten by Tess, like in the comic, which is just great. Well, that's just fun. That's just good, wholesome fun. Yeah, it's just it's just a good time. I'm kind of drunk, so I'm, I'm kind of fucking up the hands from my perspective, but good <clears> enough. <throat> so you can really just sell... The mass murder. Uh, with you can them. taste the pain. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's an expensive boy, but he's he completes the line. Yeah. If you're gonna collect all of them, you gotta go for all of them. Yeah, and yeah. and and this. Luckily, the biggest piece <clears throat> is the last piece, so at least yeah. you can justify. And then those characters that you kind of hate because they're so shitty, but like they're so cool you want to collect them, but you would never want to identify. You know, it's like the Ramsey Boltons or the whatever. Sure, yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah. They're characters that you hate, but like they're such intriguing villains that like you kind of well, like. I feel like that's the mark of a good villain. Yeah, 
So it's I, like, no, you don't like them, but yeah. you do. And their arc in the story is so cool and unique. And it's just, it, it was honestly, the DJD was one of the highlights of the IDW I agree. first run. Like, their whole thing of More Than Meets the Eye, Lost Light stuff was so good. Uh, but this toy, great, solid contender uh, for any collection. He's definitely going to be in a future episode because he's not that hard to do. But, uh, yeah, this is my, my uh, number three, right? It's number yeah, three. that's number three. Um, I'm done. Yep. I can That's finally finish done. the shelf, and it just looks great. So, as shitty as 2020 has been, like, at least this fucking series is done. It's true. What do you got? Oh, right. My turn. Um, mine, I've had... I got, um, for my birthday, back in April, like, just Your as birthday. the world was ending. Uh, in fact, my birthday was one of the worst days of this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my car died. Uh, I had to take my wife to the emergency room because we thought she had, like, right. COVID. It was, like, a whole thing. But the night before, she gave me this little number. This is Unique Toys Dragoon. But you might know him better as the last night Megatron. And the last night was the worst Transformers movie. Yeah. But this is probably one of my favorite designs for Megatron. Oh, yeah. I loved the Voyager scale toy yes. that came out. Still love it. I still yes. have it. It's a great toy. Say what you will about the movie. The toys generally were pretty fun. Yeah, there were a lot of fun bits in that one. And Unique Toys, I've got pretty much all of their movie bots. They're all fantastic. And they do this weird black magic thing where, like, this doesn't really look yeah. like it transforms into anything. It just looks like a robot. But he turns into... A gigantic ass jet and he does it super 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 well he's not the easiest to transform but he's not scary there's just kind of like with this guy a lot of steps like you it's it's not you're gonna break anything no but you have to do all these small steps to yes hundred sure percent in the right yes spot. absolutely also the sword here while cool I like it on his back it doesn't peg super well it falls off all the time because it just I don't know it just doesn't it's not very secure but other than that I love it his head switches because it's got the little close yeah. thing but you can also like flip it around so it's open which is pretty cool he's got a face there he just he's so fucking good I love him look look, look fucking look at this he's shiny he's gorgeous I don't I can gush about it all day I'm not gonna transform it because we don't have 30 minutes to yeah. to, to go through the process. Just take, fucking take my word for it. Could you do it on an episode if you did it in an early round? If I did it in an early round, maybe. But I'd have to practice it a little bit. I've only actually transformed this guy twice. That's fair. And that was back in April. Which, as we know, in 2020 years, that was 10 years ago. It's either 10 years ago or 2 weeks ago. Yeah, either way. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. None of us know. Nobody knows. Time is meaningless. <laughs> We have been drinking. Yeah, we've been drinking. Okay. Okay. So this 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 round this is our number two our number two spot our twoest spot or nine out of ten. So we're going down. What was on fire? And no one could save me but you. Strange what desire would make foolish people do. I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. All right. Should we shoot this? Now that we had our... our we haven't sung in a while on the show. So it's I'm, true. I'm glad we had yeah. that. It was yeah. a new song, too. It was. Usually yeah. we, just, we just default we to the default high to the, Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's, that was good. But that was good. I needed that. I needed some release. So should we do this? Yeah. I'm, All right. Are you first or am I first? I'm first. It's okay. number two. Number two. Number two. I'm taking a big old number two. That's right. Uh, and you know what? We oh, are yeah. we are taking a big old number two because my number two is giving a big old fuck you. Big old double deucey. Double deucey right there. This is, well, <laughs> it, was, it was formerly... Zeta Toys core star. But then they got too fuck happy and fucked themselves That's over. That's absolutely that. a fact of what happened. So they sold their plans, i.e. they formed a sister company. Because they were getting fucking sued for fucking biting the fucking... Yeah, they tried to fucking go against 
directly against Hasbro. Like, while they're releasing yeah. or advertising the same toy. And being dicks about... Yeah. Like, like, I mean, like, they were the same character. Yeah. Well, I'm yes. saying, like, the same guy. Yeah. They're advertising their big thing, and this company's just like, we got this. And it's yeah. just like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Yeah. They, they could have waited, also, um, like, uh, until the, the whole thing was done. They could have just not advertised yeah. it with big fuck yous all yeah. over it. Like, yeah. anything bad that happened to Zeta toys, they fucking deserve. Because yeah. they went right, like, the hand that feeds them, the whole yeah. reason they could even do any of this shit. Yeah. Hasbro's like, like, hey, we're trying to do this cool thing where we're crowdsourcing this yeah. risky, gigantic bot that we think is going to be really cool. And Zeta goes, we can make that, but better. Which is fine. Doesn't surprise no. me. Hasbro's Hasbro. Yeah. But instead of being cool like, about it, why, they directly tried to compete with it. Why would you tempt fate? Like, wait six months until the thing's done and release This it. thing was out way before the yeah. Hasbro one. Like, from yeah. start to finish. So why would you tempt fate before Why would that? you tempt You're fate? You're already ready to go. Being the stupid, you know, corporate whores that we are. Oh, I am, I should say. Yeah. I got both. I got this and I have the other one coming. Now that one's not out yet. It might be out by the time I put this up. I have no idea. I've almost bought this so six times. This is essentially their version of Unicron. As you can see, he's a big boy. He, unlike the Hasbro one, has almost no kibble. Yeah, he's it, sleek as fuck. Anywhere on him. His back and his front are actually the exact same. Like, they're the same parts. He comes in because of the whole fuckery they did. Oh, it is the same thing. It's the exact back. same front That's and back. Weird. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. And it makes sense, but Oh I forgot he has light up eyes. I put the I put the batteries in, so I um he's yeah. got light up eyes. He comes in two parts. I got the body like a month before I got the head and the wings. And they had to do that because they fucked but themselves because in they were ass because, because of yeah they're they're essentially thing. skirting the what, what the trademarking and all that yeah. bullshit like you know third parties never really been an issue before like Hasbro's not happy about it but we've discussed this many times Hasbro steals from third parties as almost yeah. as much now as third parties steal well, and, from and Hasbro and, and honestly like third parties drive the line you know a third party bought gives you this one figure it makes you want to buy bots around this bot you yep. kind of pump money into hasbro and related circles which is fine yeah. it's a but, symbiotic relationship but the only thing is you don't best. poke the beast while no. you do it no zeta toys poked the beast directly and they got they got pushed down hard that didn't stop them from getting it released and i'm happy because i do love it this thing looks awesome and not just that in robot mode in it's alt mode. It is essentially a perfect like sphere. It is you didn't really measure really good. It out to be perfect, brand. Oh, fine, fuck off. What? The only downside is it's small. I have injured myself transforming this thing. This thing needs like three hands to transform. Didn't you break a couple of those spikes? I've, I've broken a couple of. I've also lost a couple of these spikes because it is a ball. Like, sure, it comes a little cone that you can stand it on, but it will fall off because, again, it's a ball. Yeah. Like God, I said, Tim... Damn, is he pretty, though. He is. But I like him. Like, he's not perfect. No, but he looks good. He looks so good. And he looks, looks great so good. on my shelf. Like, I've got him pretty much sitting like this um, on the top of my shelf, just flipping the world off, saying, fuck you, I'm Unicron. Is he too small for Unicron? Yes, even Masterpiece scale. But there's no way... You're going to get a real masterpiece scaled no. Unicron. That's going to be like 30 feet tall. But he looks great. He does. I'm he really does. He's honestly been the biggest crisis of my conscience in years where yeah. I don't know how much I want to deal with this. Sure. I mean, it's it's a $400 toy. Yeah. It's, you know? it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. He's got die cast in him. He's a hefty boy. Yeah. Like, he's, he's not light. He's not no. plastic. He's not hollow. He is a very hefty, hefty boy. It's and the engineering is fantastic. Yeah. I think there is like an updated like add-on kit that they're doing that has like bigger rings. Yeah, you're fine. Because the the one that goes I will say the one thing about this guy that the Hasbro beats it on is the alt mode looks way better. Right. The mouth opens and closes. Right. And the rings are, are bigger and the stand looks more secure. So I'm probably going to have both on my shelf up there 
The Hasbro one is going to be in, in planet, all, mode. In planet mode. This one's going to be in robot mode. And that's going to be like the crown jewel of my collection is Unicron. That's fair enough. So what you got? I have another big boy. Oh. We're going big this round. Not planned. We're going big. Actually, this one was a little planned. A little, Just a little sort planned. of. Sort of planned. Uh, mine is... Uh, of course, you've got to upstage me. Only slightly. Actually, it is like... It's not that much smaller. Yeah. Uh, this is... Although he's kind of crouched a little bit. Yeah. This is Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise, Titan class, Scorponok. And he is a hefty boy. That's, uh... Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, I mean, he's, he's bigger, but yeah. not like that much bigger. He's my second favorite Titan class guy outside of Trypticon, which is just like a childhood love. I love Trypticon. And I love so it's got a nostalgia for you. Yeah, I love this guy because I love the monster guys. And sure. I, I always wanted this guy as a kid, but like it was just wasn't in the cards. So the fact that they finally did this guy was pretty great. It's kind of annoying that he's not as big as his counterpart because he's kind of more in the scale of uh, Omega Supreme. Which neither of us have. Yeah, neither of us have. He's in the, He's roughly in that scale. He's living his he's living his best life. I think they were trying to kind of downsize him a bit, which is fine because honestly, the Fort Max is kind of sucky. I'm, I'm, we, sure. we, we we covered this yeah. on an episode way back in the day. The Metroplex. Yeah, is, me, the Metroplex and Fort Max are both pretty bad. Both pretty bad. Metroplex yeah. is better than Fort Max, yeah. but still not that great. Trypticon's not great, but he's good in Dino mode, and that's all you really need him for. Yeah. Scorponok is this really unusual class where because he's really a cool, formidable bot. Like, he's hefty looking. He's a heavy bot. I think he's actually heavier than this. Yeah, he and he's probably the heaviest because his parts kind of fold. Yeah, he's heavier. His parts, uh, unlike some of the other ones, he's not hollow at all, particularly. His parts kind of fold in on himself. His legs fold into the back with his tail. And he actually has a really good scorpion mode to match his guy mode. I haven't really played around the base mode, but I don't really fucking care. I, I didn't expect to care this much about him, but I like him more than I thought I would. I bought him on a drunken whim because he was only like 150 bucks on Big Bad Toy Store. And I'm like, I had other stuff sitting in the queue. So I thought, why not? Why not? And he was way better than I expected. And I like him a lot more. I like that he doesn't have to deal with the stickers that the other ones have to deal with in Titan sure. class. He's just a fucking sturdy boy. I like his big claw hands. Yeah, his big claw hands are great. He's way better than he has any right to be. And the most weird part about him is these ankles don't really make any sense, but he's one of the sturdiest fucking titans I ever have seen. He's a fucking big boy. He's a big old boy. He could be a little bit bigger, I guess, technically, but I don't fucking care. He's big enough for me. And that's all I need. There you go. That's all we need? I have no size queen. You kind of have a size queen. I mean, right now, but not later. That's fair. Yeah. We made it. This is the end. Let's get a last shot Let's do on this. here. <coughs> Am I first? You're first. This number, first. You're number one, okay, baby. Number one, baby. What you got for me? Number one, baby. What's, what's your number um, one? What's your, what's your run? I don't know what it is, but based on your last four top tens, I'm going to bet it was made by Master Maid. I'm just well, throwing that out you there. you Master made the right call because... <laughs> Bringing in this big old bitch right here. This is Master Maid's Jin Hero, I think. Is the the God Ginrai? Yeah, it's basically uh, their Jinrai Power Master Prime, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, figure. It is super chunky. It is super adorable. I love Power Master Optimus Prime. I think it's ahead as a kid, so it's mm -hmm. one of my things I go to all the time. You've done the G1 one on I did the our G1. show. This guy, I kind of got him partway through the year because we I got him on the Black Friday deal because he was stupid expensive. Because usually these toys come as like a big chunk figure with a big head, and they do like a statue series, which gives like a smaller head and some extra stuff. And I usually like those better because it makes it less, you know, chibi, super chibi, chibi. yeah. yeah. It was cool that way. This one they did it kind of as they just included it in the sale. I got some discounts on it, so I finally got him towards the end of the year. 
And I was not disappointed in it. He fits with my line perfectly. I already had the Overlord, so I got a yep. guy for him to fight. I, I just love this line. It, I think it completes my lust for like wanting Gundams without getting full on. It's Gundam. definitely Gundam it's, like it's in that 100%. It's in that world. Yeah, I never had God Bomber. Uh, Me neither. Well, we we were in the U.S. Yeah, we just had the Power Master yeah. Optimus Prime. So I never really cared about it that much. Yeah, but like so I, I'm struggling with the level of accessories I want on this thing. Right, you can just totally take this shit off and you can take the arms and the other piece off but thi without this this even looks fucking great it's yeah. like a fucking great looking Optimus Prime for sure and despite how much I'm Decepticon laden with my love of Galbs and all that shit I'm a big Optimus Prime fan I regardless of my intentions have an Optimus Prime collection it's hard not to yeah not as big as yours but like it's definitely there and I can't get rid of it I've said it before with these figures, and I'll say it a million times. I just fucking love that love cool, the yeah, the fucking aesthetics with it. These cool, and you can like lift it up to give yeah. it that cool fucking vibe. He's got his pinky out with his sword. I like it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cool. Oh, his thumb fell off. I'll pinky out of the gun. Too. Why not? <laughs> I'm ready to fight. I am ready to do it. After we do it, we shall tea. <laughs> This is my sexy boy. What you got for your sexy boy? Mine might be a, a bit of a surprise and also sort of a continuation of Zeta, which is really weird. But this is my Zeta Toys Pioneer, which is essentially the Bumblebee movie. Bumblebee. For some reason, this year, at the beginning of the year, I got it in my brain. I got this. I bought this back in like February before the but, world fell apart. But you got this fever. That's true, man. I was just like, in my brain, I'm like, I really want like a bumblebee from the movie Bumblebee. Um, and there were a couple to choose from. And after looking at them all, this one just kind of caught my attention. I don't know what it is, but the official MP1 looked like shit. This one just looked like it had so much personality. And I had this on my desk for most of the year. And when I eventually took it off my desk, I just had him posed in the super sassy pose on my shelf and every time I walked by it just brought me so much joy that's what's up I love this figure so much he does have a bunch of lights all over him and I haven't bought the batteries to put him to put in him we're he, lazy I know his head lights up the the front light headlights light up these are the actual like rear lights they light up and you just take them off individually, pop some small watch batteries in. Uh, it's nuts. But he just, he looks so good. The weathering on him looks good. He is a little on the complicated side, but not super complicated. He's very panel-y. Mm -hmm. So even when he's in his, like, car mode, uh, he, you could definitely tell he's a Transformer because he has panels right. all over him. That's not my favorite. But in robot mode, like, to me... This looks like the 3A version. Like, yeah, no, like it, you know, I honestly would not be able to tell a difference except that I can tell it transforms yes. from the back. And, and from, but from the back, like right. from the front, you, you could honestly mistake that it might not transform from the front. It's only because the back you can see the paneling as a backpack, that and that's that's what won me over on it. The fact to me that this was almost like an action figure first and like a transformer second. That's what kind of won me over. And I love his little face. I love his hands. I love his three uh, fingers and I thumbs. Kiss his little face. I just I just I just want him to hold me. I just want him to just hold me tight. But yeah, he's he just got he's got a bunch of posability. He looks great. He's got a lot of great balance to him. Like Can you make him sure you can? Pro yeah. I mean just I got it. I got I got this. Sure you can. He, fancy he looks great in just so many poses, like, just standing there. I love the Bumblebee movie. It's one of my favorite. It's my second favorite Transformers movie behind the cartoon. So I definitely yeah. have a soft spot it's for my, it. It's my favorite live action one. Oh, sure. easily. Easily. Yeah. The best live action. So I, I wanted a good Bumblebee to represent that. And I had the Studio Series one, and it was garbage. And I knew the official Transformers masterpiece movie one also didn't look great. Yeah, it was also yeah. going to be garbage. Yeah. But. So this is what I was looking for right here. This is more akin to what you get in the movie. And you've honestly been talking about this guy almost all year. I have like been. He's, he's yeah. come up a lot in our, our uh, Transformers conversations yep. over this year. So it's cool to actually see him in person. For sure. Well, that's it for our top 10 
let's get all these together. So here we are. These are our top, tw I guess, 20 bots, 10, 10 each. What do you think of our cornucopia? We're, yeah, we have a bountiful Thanksgiving plethora feast. of transform transforming puzzle robots um, from the future. Let us know if there's anything yeah. that tickled your fancy. The bots that didn't quite make the cut on my end, personally, some bots that came close uh, were Soundwave and Blue Streak from the Netflix and Earthrise series, respectively. Just my whole bullshit about them having toys already. And like the Alicon was kind of close. The Alicon was close for me too. His beast mode was lacking. That yeah. was, and the arms. It's the, the arms. The, the arms killed arms. it for me. Both modes have vestigial yeah. arms. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then likewise, the G2 Megatron uh, repaint they did of the Earthrise Megatron. I love that ridiculous paint deco to the death. But the fact that they got rid of that siege port on the shoulder for the fucking shoulder cannon. It's the stupidest choice for that. It's true. So, that's why I didn't make the cut. Th th those are my those are my didn't sure. make the cuts. So mine is a little different, mostly because uh, we were taking a break between shots in the living room, and I realized that this whole time <laughs> I had forgotten about a bot, a very important, big, magnificent bot that was sitting in my living room. And I neglected to even consider it for the top 10. And that's on me. So I'm going to do a very rare uh, one-time addendum. To addendum. A sort of a, po a posthumous uh, change to my lineup. And what I'm going to do here is... No, he would be higher normally. Right. He, he would have scaled higher. He would have scaled a, probably number six if we're... Really? Kind of, yeah, I would. High. I would say he would be number my number six spot. I, I'm. I'm sadly going. Unfortunately, Blue Streak's gonna go by the wayside. You son of a bitch, Blue Streak! You son of a bitch! And I, I am gonna take in here, Skylinks. Uh oh, he's gonna just gonna pick. No, it's fine. It's fine. Put him back. Oh, no, don't slide him back behind my guys. All right. You need some room for this new boy. Skylinks is gonna be my new number ten. It's too late. We can't go back and re-record it. We're already very drunk, and yeah, we're not going to re-record this. This was a hundred percent my bad. But at the same time, I just I can't in good conscience ignore Skylinks. He is a fun bot in both all five of his modes. I was both all five of his modes. That's just uh, both, a thing I'm both, saying. Both all 12, 12 he, team of his modes. His shuttle. The bird thing the shuttle turns into that one the, that plays the golf links, really well. Yeah, the links part. The one the that tunnel, carrier thing. Is the one that turns he, into a series of tunnels. He turns into both. He turns into a like a space shuttle station. He is fun to play with. He's huge. He, his wings are a little loose, and that's why he's not higher. I could fix it. I've got the Kiki fix loose joints stuff that I need to slather on there. It's my fault for completely missing him. I, in fact, I like him so much, and he's so big that I put him in the living room because I like him that much. I wanted to look at him while we we're watching TV and things like that. But uh, because he was in the living room and I was making the list, he didn't pop out of my mind. We literally, like I said, we literally took a break, and he was just like, ah, oh. yeah. So uh, pretend that he was number six, and everything before number six just moves down one. And yeah. Blue Streak, unfortunately, buddy, sorry, you out the you're cut, gone, bitch. You're, bitch. You're, you're out the you're cut. You're gone. You're gone. One of our rare, if I think it's the only time, official bots and shots addendum to the it's mix. True. It's true. But regardless of Blue Streak, look at this cornucopia. This is an amazing plethora of transformers. This is the best 2020 through with us, at us personally, anyway. Also, if you can figure out how much money is on this table, you don't win anything no. except the ability to judge us. Yes, you can judge us all you yes. want. If this table falls, how much money falls on the ground right now? My heart. Oh. I'd die. Yeah, a little bit. But we'll be back in the future. Yeah. We'll try to be less scarce now that we have hope alive. Yeah. Episode 50 is coming. We're, we're not skipping it. It's coming. Episode 50 is e real? Episode 50 is real. I was just messing with you the whole time, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling at you. It was pretty abrasive. Yeah. Episode 50 is coming. Uh, the, we recorded it back in November, and I just didn't have time to edit it together and put it out. But it's coming. So keep an eye out for that. 
We're also just going to do more live streams and things like that. I'd like to take a moment and thank the people that support us on Patreon. If you want to see your name in this list right here and directly support the show, you can go on patreon.com forward slash Mike Case and you can get your name on the show. Thanks to the people that do that. To everyone that loves us, we love you so much and thank you for supporting us this far. And for please, sure. If you, have, if you want to hear any weird shit or see weird shit that we got, just let us know. Yeah. We got time. And you'll probably see a lot of these on future episodes because yeah. uh, because they're on our top 10 doesn't mean we won't do them in an actual show where we transform them and talk about them in more depth. Yeah. But probably not this guy because this guy... He, he, he looks fucking he's, he's, fuck, he's fucking... But this guy will probably make it because he's not that bad to yeah. do at all. So... Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Yeah. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways down downstairs there you can help out the channel if you want to. But uh, that that's it. And we yeah. love you. Yeah. Or something. Or something. Or whatever uh-huh. robots feel to love. Yeah. yeah. Do robots can, feel love? Can we do more into you? Can, can you we, crash into me? Can you crash into, into me? me? Yeah. Yeah, I always feel like I don't want to do that because I'm not old enough to do that. I remember I was in the car with my mom when I discovered the song was about sex. It was awkward. I was a teenager. Hike up your skirt a little more. Show your world to me. Bye. Bye.